I had a, a cheeky grope of my blood bag. Good evening, aliens. I just went onto the NHS blood donation website because I've wanted to do a blood drive for absolutely ages but I've never booked it because I never know when I'm going to be free on the next day of the blood drive but I just decided, you know, I'll see what dates there are, I'll book one and then I'll book it off work and I'll go and do the bloody blood drive because I've wanted to do it for that long. Well, you're not going to believe it but there was availabilities for appointments for blood drives tomorrow. So I've gone and booked it and I'm so excited. I've never done a blood drive before and it's been on my bucket list as I've said for, for absolutely bloody ages um, and and I'm going to do one tomorrow. That doesn't mean I can get a tattoo any sooner, you know, if this is a good experience for me then I'm going to continue to donate my blood because I don't need all of it, <laughs> I'll just make some more um, and I can continue to give people my blood and I'm excited to find out what blood group I actually am because I don't know. So I'm just reading now on the NHS website about what you do before you go and do a blood drive. Okay so they take about a pint of blood which is between five and ten minutes of the needle being in there. I don't know what to do in preparation. I guess eat enough and drink enough and I'll be all right. Goodness me, I'm so excited. Ah. Good morning, aliens. It is 10 past 10. I've already been into town because I needed to pick up my Japan crate. I'm so sad. It's not like there's a bell in there. I'm so sad because I want to do my Japan crate, but I don't want my blood sugar levels to be all over the place when <laughs> I go for my blood donation in a couple of hours time. So yeah, it's, it's half past 10. I'm just gonna chill out with this salmon bagel for a bit. Um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to have coffee. I'm not sure if you're allowed like stimulants before you donate your blood. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not gonna have one just in case. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll see you in the hospital. So what is it with me and going to the wrong building? If you're wondering why I said that, it's because earlier that week I had an acting job at the University of Lincoln and I went to the complete wrong building and I was already late and I was, well, I mean, I was late to begin with and then I was even more late because I stopped to get a Greg's. Um, so yeah, I, I went to the wrong building earlier in the week as well when, when I was supposed to be somewhere. But uh, I wasn't there because I was late because I went to the wrong building. I literally walked past this give blood, give blood truck. That wasn't signpost enough. So I went to the like proper hospital and I was like, yeah, I don't know where to go. And uh, they sent me all the way back here where I should have been in the first place. I'm back home, safe and sound from my blood drive, but we did have an issue. We, we had quite an issue. So, uh, popped in the needle, it was fine. I was, I was, I was giggly, as I, as I often am. So, blood was coming out, it was going into the bag, it was fine, everything was going well, and then the machine started beeping, and I was like, hem, hem? Uh, is everything going to be okay? And then a lady came over and she was like, oh, it's just slowed down a bit. Try uh, punching your fist, doing this, and uh, moving your legs, and tensing your bum muscles. So I was doing all of that, and then blood started going through, and then I was done. It was ready. The machine was like, bloop, bloop, 
done. Um, so then they disconnected me and <laughs> I had a, a cheeky grope of my blood bag which <laughs> Which is not a sentence I ever thought I'd be saying. And then they started because I was in I was in a chair that was like, you know how that how they're shaped. So it's got the groove where where your legs sit like that, and then your bum comes down. So so you're lying in like an S shape, but you're like horizontal. So she was bringing me up. It's so my head here, right? I was coming up, and I, w I was like halfway between horizontal and vertical, and I was like something's going dreadfully wrong here, something bad is gonna happen, I can't see you anymore. I started to see static in front of my eyes and it was green and it was like, like, like fizzling. You know, you know when you, you rub your eyes too hard and then you get that, that amazing light show that comes in. That was going on and then uh, the, the nurse lady, she, she was brilliant, she was amazing, she was trying to talk to me but it was like when you put your finger over um, like the speaker on your phone um, everything was muffled and my, my ears were going I could I could feel myself going and I was getting sweaty and I had this laminated piece of paper in front of me saying about like doing the muscles and tensing your muscles and whatever so I was, I was using that to fan myself because I was hot and sweaty and sticky and gross I was just lying there and then the nurse another nurse came over and I can't remember what she said but she said something then she went away and then she came back with a clipboard and I was like am I in trouble <laughs> she was just asking me how tall am I how much do I weigh what have I eaten today I had a vegan sausage roll another one I can't get enough I highly recommend them go and have one you probably I, I mean I don't know if you'd be able to taste the difference because I haven't had a Greg sausage roll in years really in absolutely years so yeah and I had a couple of Nutri-Grain bars and I had a salmon bagel for my lunch so I've eaten well like I'd had enough food, but it's just my body is obviously not used to losing a whole pint of blood in that amount of time. Um, so I was left horizontal for a bit for a bit longer. They wheeled me back down. Um, they, they, they left me there and the lady brought over some, some orange squash. So I was sipping that and then, then very, very slowly they, they tilted me back up, like stopping. Like it felt like they were stopping every centimetre, but they, they looked after me very, very well. Um, and then eventually I was able to, to get up and go over to the snacks table where the nurse came and sat down with me and was talking to me about um, what I can do if I feel faint or sick later on, which I don't, which is great. It's about three hours or four hours, half past five now. So that was, it was about half past one. I, I went in for my blood drawn. She was sitting down with me for a bit. She, she wanted me to stay for like a little bit of time and by a little bit of time I got the impression that she, like she wanted me to stay there for like an extra hour. And they had these big pint cups um, so I had obviously had the orange and then I had another cup full of water and I'd already had a cup full of blackcurrant squash before I even went in to get my blood drawn so I was very hydrated. And then I had um, a packet of crisps and a few of those, you know the, the biscuits that come with three biscuits in? Yeah. I had a couple of those as well. Uh, I put on my Instagram, I was like, little I fainted, haha. <laughs> so after I, I'd sat down with the nurse for a bit and then she was just talking to me about what I can do, you know, going forward and if I feel sick, ring this number. And then Alec came to meet me, which is very, very good because I don't think they would have let me leave <laughs> if I was walking home by myself. So yeah, Alex came to meet me and then, um, and then I left and I feel good now. I feel fine and I'm at home and I'm gonna make some noodles and vegetables for my dinner. So that's the story of the first time I had my blood drawn. And I'm going back in four months to do it again, because <laughs> it was really good. I still want another tattoo, but I wanna help people more than adorn my body in tattoos. Catch you later, aliens. Thank you for watching. Sorry if you don't like to see blood, but there wasn't, there wasn't very much of it. Just pretend it's like grape juice or something. Um, my poorly arm says hello. Catch you later. Stay away from those greys.